Hello there. In this video, we're going to talk about installing an IDE on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, we're going to use that IDE to start uh, using the C programming language uh, directly on the Pi. Now, first of all, what is an IDE? IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. Uh, some uh, popular examples of IDE are Microsoft Visual Studio for the Windows platform, Xcode for the Mac platform, or uh, Eclipse is a multi-platform uh, IDE that's uh, very popular for a lot of different uh, applications. Um, what an IDE does is it helps us to develop the code by first of all providing a graphical user interface, uh, or uh, often called just GUI and uh, it also helps us to format the code and it, it provides highlighting of uh, certain keywords and, 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 and variables and such and so that uh, it, it just helps us uh, um, helps us f format our code and uh, does a lot of other things depending on what the ID is. Uh, also uh, helps us to link the files together and, and compile the projects uh, and a whole lot of other stuff just depending on what the the particular IDE is. Uh, now um, the Raspberry Pi isn't going to be able to run uh, a lot of the full featured IDEs uh, so we're going to use a, a, a very simple IDE uh, called Genie and uh, you can find out more about uh, Genie on uh, genie.org um, but it, it's just going to be be just enough to allow us to develop that C code, uh, and, and I think it also does Python uh, directly on the Pi. So let's go ahead and, and install Genie now. For demonstration purposes in this video, I'm going to remote into the Raspberry Pi uh, from my computer, and I'll show you how to do that in another video, so I won't uh, bore you how to do it here. Um, so I'm going to need to open up a terminal window and uh, in the terminal window uh, first thing we'll want to make sure that our our Raspbian is up to date so we'll go sudo and apt-get and update and this will just make sure that uh, everything's up to, up to date and this not just a few days ago shouldn't it be a lot of stuff but uh, maybe I'm wrong and if this gets too long I'll just uh, pause the video and start over when it's done. If there's any packages that need to be uh, or that are downloaded when you do the update, you need to, next you need to run sudo apt get upgrade. And that will upgrade all the packages that you just downloaded. Uh, and it will ask you um, if you want to continue. Uh, it doesn't check to see if you have enough space. Um, I happen to know I have plenty of space on here for, for this, so I'll just go ahead and hit yes. I actually had a, quite a few packages that had to be updated there, so uh, I, I just uh, paused the video there and, and did what I had to do, and now I'm ready to go again. Uh, so uh, the next command is we're actually going to go go ahead and get genie. So it goes sudo uh, apt get, and it'll be install uh, genie. Isn't that nifty? And it'll go ahead and it'll install genie. And for and again, it asks us if uh, we want to continue. Uh, it tells us how how much space. Uh, is needed and uh, we need to make sure that we have that much space available ahead of time and I happen to know that I do and it will go ahead and install uh, so when Genie's done installing should your terminal window should look like this and uh, we can go ahead down here uh, You'll you'll notice that it's it doesn't show up on your desktop yet. But if you go down here and uh, click on this, go to programming, then you have Genie right there, and it should open up. And there you go. Now, if you want to add an icon to your desktop for opening Genie. Uh, you can do that uh, very easily. Just uh, go, you know, find it in the menu here, and right-click on it and say "Add to Desktop," 
and that should do it right there. And I have a little, uh, uh, little lamp that we can click on, and uh, now Genie should still open up uh, on our desktop there. And there, there you have it. So that's uh, that's uh, that's how you install Genie on the Raspberry Pi, and we'll use it in our future videos for programming C uh, directly on the Raspberry Pi. If you like this video, please click like. It motivates me to make other videos just like it. If you want to find out when I post more videos, please subscribe. You can also read about uh, completed projects on our website spastic.net or spastic.com. On our website, we include details of how we did some of the projects that are on these videos and some of the source code that uh, you can use uh, yourself as much as you like. If you want to track progress of projects we have going on step by step, be sure to check out our pages on Twitter and on Facebook.